Hey everyone, welcome to the Hagen Jones Homestead video on sea buckthorn cuttings. I, uh, I've tried out a couple other cuttings of some of the berry bushes I had around the farm, Hascap, gooseberry, raspberry, uh, hostaberry, and some others. Um, I had some success with the uh, Hascap, the gooseberry, and the uh, hostaberry. Nice root structure. I still have some going in there. Um, the leaves are alive. They're not dead. They're still in the mixture. They're doing well. So I looked at my sea buckthorn plants and a couple of the seedlings I started um, last spring actually are looking pretty full. And I'm going to kind of clean them up, get them a little bit higher. And I thought, well, I'm cleaning them up. Why don't I take the smaller new growth and uh, plant them in the uh, in, in my uh, cuttings bin, I don't know how to describe it. So basically this is pure light sand and uh, oh man, I'm going to drop my peat moss, there it is, pure light sand and peat moss. Um, almost, you know, equal parts of each, uh, probably a little heavier on the sand. Um, wet it all down and you know, all I'm really doing is taking the cuttings, getting them about three to four inches uh, long, and uh, putting them, you know, sticking them right into the sand. Um, why I'm growing sea buckthorn for around here is it's a great nitrogen fixer. Um, so it's great as that break in the orchard and that kind of stuff, because uh, it's gonna provide, provide nutrients for the orchard when the leaves fall off in the fall. Um, and it does grow a fruit. I think I have a market for the fruit. Uh, I need a whole bunch of it. Um, so I have eight seedlings and I'm like, why don't I spread this out into more? I've done almost 40 already uh, of the cuttings and I thought, why don't I do a video, show everybody how I'm doing it. Uh, not sure if this is the best way. Please let me know if you have a better way, but this is the way I'm doing it. And like I said, it worked on uh, other uh, berry bushes, if you will, or fruit bushes. Um, so I'm hoping it works on these. So stick around, check out the video. I'll do a couple of these and uh, show you how it got done. All right, so this is kind of the process I'm going with for this. Like I said, you know, you don't have to. This is super healthy, there's no reason. I like to trim my uh, bushes up. Uh, you know, give them a little bit of height and uh, clean them up, give room for new growth for next year. Um, so that's what I did with these. I should probably take that one off. Um, so that one's done. So I've got, like I said, about 40 cuttings on that one. So this is the next one. Uh, as you can see, you know, there's a ton of growth down at the bottom here. I mean, that's great, but uh, I'm going to get rid of most of it, if not all of it. So I'm going to take off just a regular size, you know, cutting right to, right from the stem. Um, and I'll show you what I do. So let's say this one here. This one's a bigger one. I'm going to cut that off. I like about three, three, four inches. So I'm going to find a spot about three or four inches where there's a lot of leaf growth. So this looks like a good spot here. So I'm going to cut right here a little bit of an angle, about 45. And then what I do for the bottom, so underneath the soil mixture, if you will, I like to rip and pull down these kind of roughing up you know, the, uh, the stem, so that, I think it helps uh, give the roots somewhere to come out a little bit easier. And then when I get to the top, I find the sea buckthorn breaks if I rip it too hard. So I'll just clean it up nicely with the snips. Gives it a nice new clean or a nice smooth clean there. So that's that. So that is the finished product. Uh, and then what I'll do, you can see here, I've got my mixture, you can see all the cuttings in there, and uh, let me go back here, super simple, you know, oh, <laughs> forgot, I've got uh, rooting hormone, and not only did I forget, but for the first 40, I didn't use any, so this is going to be a great test, rooting hormone versus uh, not rooting hormone, see which one gets a better success rate, so this little rooting hormone, you know, get it on there good. And then we're going to go on the other side because this is non-rooting hormone. Just stick 
it into the sand about halfway and then I pack around it. All right, so let's do one more. So again, there's my cutting, three to four inches. I, want to, I don't want too much of a bend, right? So I'm gonna go a little higher on this one. So that's that. At the bottom, I like to rip. And I do this with all the berries. Okay. And then kind of clean it up nice and neat at the top. What you're doing is you're cutting off as much greenery as possible, at least is what I've heard. But you still want it to, to live with some greenery at the top, but cut off as much so it's not focused on keeping those leaves alive, it's focused at making new roots to feed the leaves. Oh, almost missed it again. Rooting hormone. But I'm packing them in pretty tight, you know, about an inch apart. So we'll do one more. Okay, well, let's start with the bottom. Here's another one, nice long one. So again, that's a bit long. We'll cut it up just a bit, 45 degree angle. Rip the bottom. Oh. oh, I killed it. Okay, one more. Probably would have survived, but I messed it up. See, that's why I cut the top and I forgot my own rule. I use the scissors at the top and they break like that. Two, three, four. And there's thorns on these. Just make sure you get the thorns too. Okay, so I don't break it. Scissors. up to the top. There we go. Just a few leaves, nice and clean down to the bottom. Stick it in the mixture. And that's, uh, that's uh, pretty well it. I will, at the end, uh, give everything a little bit of mist. Uh, misting, soil is wet. I do have lids for these. Um, I put the lid on whole. I didn't put any air holes in, uh, and I found on the last batch that I got a lot of mold. So I've just been kind of offsetting the lid when I put it on, kind of keeps that humidity in, um, but also, uh, you know, hopefully slows the mold down a bit. Um, I'm keeping these inside my shop. I've got kind of a southwest facing window, uh, it gets an afternoon sun. I've got some. But uh, your shop lights set up with grow bulbs in them. Uh, in there, I've got some other seedlings growing and that kind of stuff. I'll leave them in there uh, just so it doesn't get too hot. Like this greenhouse, even at about August, you know, middle of summer, it's 45, 40 in here. So uh, I want to make sure they don't burn and die. So I'll put these in there and then I'll post them in a follow up video uh, when they're done and uh, hopefully we get a good success rate. And it'll be fun because. You know, I've got half that are uh, going to be uh, with rooting hormone and the other half not rooting hormone. So we'll see if the rooting hormone actually helps. All right. Thank you for checking out uh, the Hagen Jones Homestead video on uh, seed buckthorn cuttings. Uh, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. It's super important. We uh, need the support. If you're a professional, if you do this for a living uh, and I've made incredible errors, uh, please let me know. It seemed to work the last couple times I've tried, so I'm just kind of running with it. If you got any tips, don't hesitate to comment below. I won't be insulted. Uh, again, thanks so much for watching, and uh, see you soon.